No. Well, hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us this evening. I'm here with the amazing powerhouse Maria Baptiste, Lifestyle Director 2, on her way to Lifestyle Director 3, as she tells me, which is amazing. I've had the opportunity to spend some real quality time uh, with Maria on the cruise, actually, just in the last Caribbean uh, LD2 cruise uh, in leaving from Miami, and we had a chance as well to actually uh, spend some time in Miami prior to going on the cruise. And, you know, it's always a pleasure being with Maria. She's so professional and so upbeat. And one thing I can honestly say about Maria before I before I actually read your bio, which is impressive, um, is that you're so intended. You know, you go out every day with an intention. You set your day in the morning, you set your mindset, you make yourself absolutely gorgeous from head to toe, you go out prepared, and your intention is to build opulence every day. And I found that so impressive being with you because again, you know, I, that is not what I've been in the habit of, <laughs> to be honest. And uh, it's so inspiring and it it really helps me want to step up my game in in just being prepared and being ready to be out there uh in any situation and be promoting and being sharing and be helping uh people you know discover health benefits as well as obviously um benefits about becoming partners with our company so let me just quickly let people know that are on the call a little bit about you because your background is very impressive uh you are from Grenada actually and I know how much you love Grenada because I've heard you speak about it so passionately made me want to go like on a plane let's go anyway you live in North York, Ontario. Uh, you have one son and your background is sales and marketing, a leader, entrepreneur, business builder, an athlete, black belt in martial arts and a national table tennis player, which I, that's incredible. I should have been playing table tennis with you on the cruise. Uh, you got started in Opulence Global in April of 2014 uh, you were blessed to have the opportunity to meet top entrepreneurs on your journey, such as Jim Rohn, Les Brown, Brian Tracy, Robert Kiyosaki, and T.D. Jakes, who I absolutely love. You're pursuing personal development on a regular daily basis, as I know I've witnessed, and you're becoming a better version of yourself all the time. Um, uh, you know, becoming part of Opulence Global has totally changed your life. You saw the visit vision and you decided to take massive action. You've never looked back. You've done very well with hard work, dedication, patience, and persistence. And in 2019, on the cruise ship, you received the award for top seller in Opulence Global and top 10 in MGRS. MGRS, sorry. That was a special moment in your life in September of 2021. You opened up Trinidad and Tobago market. And after four months, the country was on the opulence map with rising stars, six LD2s and many LD1s and growing. And you've managed to make a difference in many people's lives globally. So we're so thrilled to have you on this call with us. And the intention of this call is to really share with um, our partners, my team, anyone that's listening to this call, how you go about daily in your life of selling so many bottles of FOL. Um, you've shared stories with me, one of them being I think it was 47 bottles moved within a couple of days at a trade show. So let's let's dig into that and do a deep dive in what your methodology for success in specifically selling FOL for this particular AMA. And then we're going to open up to questions a little later. So Maria, the floor is yours. 
Well, first of all, thank you. Thank you so much, Karen Henry, for uh, that warm introduction. And thank you so much again for being, you are a champion, doing an amazing job. I have to give you credit for that too as well. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone on the call. I certainly love to see all the new people. Look forward to see you guys in Dubai of 2025. <laughs> But the most important thing, absolutely, the most important thing is, is you know, one of my favorite, I love uh, selling the product. First of all, you got to be a product of the product. Uh, you cannot go and talk about something you've never used it yourself. You've never wear, you've never done it. So once you start using, to me, once you start using the product, I'm talking about all of them, Safe Home Revolution, from the fountain of life to the have your hand, the personal care, hand and body moisturizer with sterling. Once you start using the product and you start seeing the amazing difference, eventually you develop that passion. So wherever you go and you talk to anyone, you don't have much to say. People can just see through your eyes and just your body language. So to me, really like, I thank Sanaz again way back, you know, in 2007 when she introduced me to, you know, the trade shows. And that she says, if you really want to make serious, serious money, is you got to do start trade show. So that's where I started. Uh, she's a great mentor. And I listen. I humble myself. I watch everything she and D Danielle have done. And I start doing the same thing. And so I realized that we have an opportunity to touch so many lives. We have an, a product which is one of the most powerful potent antioxidant on the planet and so many people in all these challenges and pain and they don't know what to do most people what they do they go to the doctor and of course doctor give you you know medication and prescription but when i think i when i meet people and i tell them the difference i say first and foremost when you take the the pills and medication these are synthetic it is not real and it's basically it's put in like a band-aid on the problem that you have, it's not, the doctors is not getting the root of that cause. So you're still, that pain will always come back. So first and foremost, as you say, my daily, I set up myself. Of course, I exercise in the morning. I mean, that's just part of me. I do my regular routine and shower change. And then I, you know, I set out on my daily goals. So I'm not, let's say my goal is going to be, I want to basically to talk to about maybe 40 people. And so I go out, I make sure I have everything prepared. I have all my tools in my bag. I have my brochures. I have the fountain of life. I have the toothpaste. I have even the spray, the micro silver spray. And sometimes I even walk with a shampoo because when I meet a lot of women, I show them not just talk, but I basically have the product to show them in my hand. So then I approach few people, like, for example, in the bank, another place where I normally talk to people a lot is while you're waiting in the bank. And I'll see, you know, if I've seen anyone is touching their knees or their ankle, or you can see they have some kind of pain. I will go up to them, you know, and I'll say good evening or good morning, ma'am. How are you doing? Fantastic. I say, I noticed that I seen you had a limp or something. Are you OK? Is your knees? And then, of course, they open up and say, yeah. I had this opera and then it's, I've been on pain and I'm, and then I said, but well, you know what? I have a solution. I think I can help you. I says, have you ever heard of lignans? And then most of them, they say, but well, no, what is that exactly? And I say lignant is basically the plant antioxidant that help balancing our hormones and strengthening our immune system. I say, more importantly, it protects you from all the free radicals that what we face in every single day. I said, so now, and I take out my bottle. I always have a bottle because anytime I meet someone, I'm prepared to give them a five drops. Even I just meet you, I do that all the time. Most of the time when I give the five drops, they will stand there a little bit. They'll, mm -mm, wow. Some will say, wow, this is very potent. Some will say, I love the taste. Some says, well, oh my God, this is too bitter. But the bottom line of it all, most of the time when I give them, like, they taste it. And I say, just pass your tongue on your, you know, on the gums on your teeth because it's strengthening. They say, wow, this is interesting. Where this come from? And that's where I go in and just give a more detail talking about the benefits and the value. It's from a tree. 
And so because they've never heard of anything like that, like actually I've done that on Friday evening. I went out after I did my Zoom call. I had two appointments. And then on my way coming back in the mall, I ran into a couple of people. Long story short, there was a lady again. She and her two daughters. And I did the same thing. And at the end of it, I bought, I sold four bottle of Fountain of Life. Because the lady, she was suffering with arthritis. Her daughter had a problem with, you call the bowel movement. She told me she hasn't go to the bathroom for five days. I say, well, this is not good at all. The mother says she'd been talking to her, but you know. So here I am, and I told him basically, all you need is to take at least get 20 drops every morning and every night before you go to bed and start using the product. So the lady bought it. Actually, tomorrow I'm going to touch base with them because anytime anyone buy any product from me, I give them about three to four days and I will follow up with them because first i want to make sure that they taste it because sometimes you will give someone they buy it but they'll take a couple of days before they you know start using it so i act you know right away and then the lady say yes i mean i've taken it now she say i'm sleeping much much better so that's great but the bottom line what i do ladies and gentlemen i just be myself authentic i go out there and i share the product all we do is all share because sharing is caring and any issue they talk about i simply say madam who do you know that's suffering with arthritis diabetes high blood pressure high cholesterol bowel movement lack of rest prostate you know heart flashes. And every time when I ask these simple questions, they always, they put their hand up and say, I am, or they know someone or their mother or their brother or sister. So that to me, I start a conversation. That like and trust, I start, you know, talking with them and eventually once they like you, because first of all, before anyone buy anything from you, they buy you first. The way you present yourself, your personality. And once you explain the value and the benefits, because they will want to know, well, what's the difference between your product and this other product done at Shoppers Drug Mart? And so once you play your part and explain the significant difference, where it's no comparison, it's a done deal. Now, if you're not knowledgeable in the product, then that'll be a challenge because if they ask you something and you're like, um, well, uh, you know, let me check. I'm going to have to check this and come back. So once you're thorough, I go there thorough. I build that like and trust first with people because I'll go into them. I'll say, well, what country you're from? How long you've been in Canada here? You know, make them feel comfortable. So at the end of the day, I, I go for the sale. I'll say, how many bottles would you like to take home with you? I suggest minimum, get your first three bottles. I say, when the scientists were here, he recommend to get three bottles. Why? Because for 90 days, three months. And you want to be able to have that product to use all over parts of your body. I say this product is just not only for one thing. It is for everything and for everything. So take advantage on that. And that's simply how I start my day. At the end of the day, if I talk to like 50 people and out of the 50, I sell about five or six bottle of Fountain of Life, I'm good. You know, and then another thing what I do, ladies and gentlemen, even though when I meet with them, I'll ask, are you on WhatsApp? And right away, I get the connection. If it's individual or even I'm working in a trade show, actually this weekend I have a big trade show coming up again. Regardless, I always get the information. I add them on WhatsApp and I send them out the three links. The first is oxidation stress. The second one is the new uh, little video clip that we did from the conference with all testimonial with all the females. I think Daria, all of you guys in that one. Yeah, that's a powerful one with Sanaz. And then the third is the video who we are, which I'm on that video too as well. So I always send out these three videos and I follow up because the bottom line from using the product, eventually I know if they really like this product, they'll say, okay, I need to, I want to do what you do. Because as a matter of fact, I have a lady right now. I met this lady just before I went on the cruise. She bought two bottles for me. I came back. There was about 30 something messages on my phone. She was included that she said, Ms. Batiste, I need another six more bottle. And more importantly, I want you to tell me more about this. You just came back on a cruise. How can I get a free cruise? Could you show me how? I say, absolutely. 
So I book appointment to meet up with her because unfortunately tomorrow she wouldn't be able to come up at the head office. So when they can't, I book appointment and meet with them personally, a one-on-one -on -one presentation. And there I take it up. Back to you, Karen. <laughs> That's brilliant. You know, um, by the sounds of things, it sounds like you very seldom sell one, just one bottle to anyone. Never. 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 That was at the beginning, at the beginning of 2018. No, not now. No. Minimum will be at least two because they have people say, OK, I'm, I cannot take the three, but can I start with the two? I say, obviously. And I say before that bottle ran out, just call me and get because the scientists say you need your three bottles. You need to take in it religiously morning and nighttime until the end, because I say you want to see the result. Don't take it once a week or twice a week. You need to take it twice a day. And especially like those who have arthritis or bowel movement or, uh, you know, I simply tell them to start with a full dropper. I say the full dropper is 30 drops. And so everyone I'm talking with now is especially the brand new brochure. I love this, the new brochure we have right now. And in the back of the brochure, it says over 1 million bottle sold in over 200 countries around the world. I love using that statement. They say, are you serious? Is that, I say, yep. I say, we launched the 12th of, you know, February, 2018. And it's six years old in Canada and we over 200 plus countries globally and it continued growing. So this is a product they'll ask, well, where it come from? And then I describe again, when they ask the question, I says, it's from a tree. It is not the ordinary. So when this, they finally realize, okay, this is the benefit. Now I can see this product is different than this product and that product. Okay, how can I get? I need four. I say, you can order in line. The company will ship it to you. Do I say right now for a bottle is a hundred Canadian dollars, 183. If you like us to ship it out for you, the company will do that. You'll just have to pay for the tax and shipping. However, if you just need, you need right away, I have with me, try the first three bottle and you take it from there. Uh, la when's Saturday, let me see, Saturday, I went out. This is a gentleman I was following up with, and I thought he'd take just the three. He ended up bought 10. So I even say, get a family pack. I say, get a family pack and you get one free. But um, he says, um, he says, no, I want to try the 10 for he and his brother. And he bought 10. And you know what? I still give him a bottle free. Karen, I just give him, <laughs> I give him one free. And actually, I just follow up with him because it's what just a couple of days now, and he said he was very impressed. The energy level went up the roof. So that's why I'm so passionate in what I'm doing. Karen, back to you. Fantastic, Maria. Well, thank you. I do have a hand up here, and it's um just going to unmute this person. Uh, hi, everyone. Let me hope that you, everyone is doing well. So I have like two questions for Maria. Okay, go ahead. The first one was, um, she said that when you are selling the, the fountain of life, you follow up with the sending the customers three videos, the one but I couldn't get that one properly. So if she can, like the way she is talking, she's talking a little bit faster than I do, you know? So, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> actually, I, I believe it was the, Maria, you can go ahead and answer. Absolutely, it's the oxidation stress. That's the first one. Uh, and the oxidation stress actually on YouTube too, but if you need it, I can, Karen, I can send you the three and then you can, you know, forward down to her. We could put it on United We Stand. I think everyone on this group is on United We Stand. So we'll, we'll put those videos that you recommend. If you send yeah, them to send me, I'll to put you. them on United yeah. We Stand and everybody will have them. And then right. they can just send them out from their WhatsApp. That's awesome. That oxidative stress is what makes us sick. It was, it used to be on the FOL.1, but it's definitely on the Opulence Global YouTube channel. And then the right. one, the one that, um, recently uh, at the conference. Like, yeah. Right. That's the one with Sanaz. That's a new one. So that one I send out. I mean, I'm going to send it to you and then you can pass it down. Thank you. I'll, and I'll then, make sure. Yeah. And the third one is who we are. That's the video. 
who we are. That's actually on the website as well, right? Exactly. So anyone you send on your website to go in, click on opportunity, scroll down, and there is the video. The the mm -hmm. the who we are video. It's we it's are. the story. Maria's on there. And I'm it's on the it story too. of our leaders and some people that have done very well in the business. Rez is on there and yeah. Maria's on there. I'm sick and tired of being sick of being tired. sick and tired. <laughs> I'm work on the feed. That's right. <laughs> I love it. I Next question, you be L. Uh, sorry, I don't know your name. Um, this is Josie. Josephine? Justine? Josephine. Josie. Josephine. Yes, yeah. Josephine from the cruise. Yes, thank you. Oh, welcome. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Oh, yeah, Josephine, the young lady, she's very slim. Slim, yes, yeah. Very slim, yes. Right, right. Okay. Welcome on the call. Yes. Welcome. Yes. Go ahead, Josephine. My second question was that um, about the sh shipping, because um, as you see, all of us, we are coming from different countries. And uh, in case if you want to, like, you know, to, to contribute or uh, not to contribute, but in case if you want, like you would have liked to sell in a country which is outside uh, Ottawa or United States, can it like can the company still send those that um fountain of life there or because you know what like me i'm not a person who always hang out with people you know i'm not like i'm, I'm so so independent but uh, the people whom i spend like talking to they might be back home on whatsapp this and this and then like you would have liked you know to to bring them to the company or to share the good news that you have that can help their health as well. But uh, they are gonna ask you, like as I am trying like to get more in the business, I'm trying to encourage them to join. The question they're asking me is that, oh, how are you gonna shipping it? And how long will we get it, you know? And yes, if you have like a, traveling like the way you say you are going to Dubai last time you were in US how are we gonna join you in case if we don't have if like we don't have those documentation can your company give you give us like um, a visa like accept us to come and join and then do that something like that so how do you help us and how does the company deliver most especially the products that we receive that we sell if you are outside of Canada or going to Africa? Wonderful. Hey. Great question. Oh, Karen, you want it? You no, can answer you go that, ahead, right? Maria. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. First and foremost, for the shipping, anything with, with, with sh first of all, the company shipped in over 200 countries global. There, no, I know there are certain companies, countries in Africa that they don't ship, for example, Congo. Uh, they don't ship to Congo. They don't ship to Venezuela. They ship to Cameroon, and you have to have connection there. Once you call into the head office, I mean, the person who really, you know, specialize in that area is I deal a lot with Greg because I have client and customers in Nigeria, in Congo, and Cameroon too, and they ask these questions. So you want to more, know more about the shipping. I cannot give you a specific price. You got to call in and they will tell you because every country is different. Uh, in terms for uh, for traveling, like to go to Dubai or whatever, I mean, uh, if you have certain people who wants to join, first of all, they have to have their, their documents all put together. So again, you can call into the office and find out, even so if you don't have a visa, what do you need to do to require for your visa, or if you can get a letter from the company stating, well, look, you want to go to Dubai due to certain stuff. So you will have to call into the head office and get all these, because this is more like private. You want to go and find out to make sure that, could you get a letter from the company and the company can speak on your behalf for your immigration matters? That's what they're specialized in. We, like Karen and I, we don't do that. But one thing I do know that we ship to over 200 countries globally. And so once you call in, it's very important to call in because to get all the information, the things that you don't know about, rather than asking someone else, call into the head office and, and they will be them. able to answer all the questions and you'll be so much, so much feeling much better.
Back to you, Karen. I yes, that thank help. you. Thank you for that question, Josephine. And I concur. Totally a good idea to to let uh, Greg know your concerns mm -hmm. and your and those various areas. But as Maria said, we are shipping all over the world, and uh, and you know you can set the site to the country that you're shipping into. And it will do the exchange for you, and it'll do um, it'll it'll enroll partners in those areas. But I think when in doubt, talk to the office first in an area that may where it's maybe not common for us, and you'll get a lot of help in that area. Or to speak to your my five. I, I believe that um, uh, you have Ifra Hassan as your my five. So um, that would be a very good person to speak to regarding that. Mm -hmm. So, Shauna, I've, you've got your, thank you for that question, Josephine. I'm going to ask Shauna, thank you, now she's had her head up, hand up, <laughs> head up, hand up for a while. So, Shauna, um, whoops, I thought, yeah. yes, thank there you. you are. Thank you. Um, Maria, I, I just am so enjoying your conversation, and I, I love your routine in the morning. You, thank you. Take care of yourself in the morning, which is your temple. You prepare yourself, you get dressed, and you go out. May I ask you where you go out to? <laughs> That's a very, very good question. Well, first and foremost, like the day before, two days before, I do a lot of follow-up. And follow-ups meaning I connect with whoever and I, I book appointments. So when you see I head out, most of the time I have appointment booked. Okay. Like tomorrow, I have four appointments. Friday, I have two appointments. Saturday, I have a networking event and also Sunday. So you see, all these people prior, a week before who I met on the street or in the mall or in this, you know, in the, uh, the, the wherever, I connect with them and I book appointment. I say, I would love to meet up with you, you know, for one, you know, like, a day or two, or if you have a couple of partners, because I like, first of all, I like to invite them to our meeting. We have, normally I do the presentation on Wednesday night up at the head office. Like tomorrow, I have three guests. And those are guests that I spoke with last week and they were able to come. Now, the rest who cannot, then I book appointment Thursday or Friday to meet up with them one-on-one. -on -one. I even will say, okay, Belinda, if you have any friends, you can bring three or four people with you and we will meet at the Tim Hortons. So I always, when before I set out, is appointments are already booked previous. And then I go after when I finish, if I have three appointments and I finish, then I say, you know what? Okay, let me go to this particular mall and I'll just browse through the mall. I do prospecting in the mall. I do a lot in Yorkdale Mall because I love the Yorkdale Mall. Uh, and you see on weekends, you see like right now, the weather is getting better. Uh, I normally go out to when I, they have major, like little events, like this weekend, I'll be busy. I just go out wherever they have any networking event. Even if I don't have a table or a vendor, I just go out wherever they have anything. I go into my laptop and I see what's going on. Our friend called me and said, Maria, look, they're having this travel so show Sunday. Um, I'm going out there. I, we could meet up there. And I said, good. So, I leave the house with all my brochures, my bottle, because my goal is to get at least three to five bottle sell per day. Oh. So that's that's what I normally do is I book appointment to meet with the people. And after when I finish my appointment, then I'll do some prospecting. Fantastic. I've been a witness to that down in Miami. <laughs> She'll go out for a walk and come back and have five prospects. <laughs> <laughs> that's I, right. I have, a, I have another question. Sure. Is, um, what is your line when they say, ooh, that's so expensive, I can't afford it? I very, very rarely get that. I normally, to be honest with you, I remember at the beginning, you know, but like now, uh, even some of my customers, I told them in advance, I said, listen, the price is going up. But if I meet someone say, well, it's too expensive, I says, never put price on your health. I say, never put a price on your health. I say, you just told me that you've been suffering with arthritis for 10 years. Do you know how much money it costs you by buying all these pills and medication? She said, well, I spend a lot. I say, okay. And by spending that money, is that really work for you? 
-hmm. How many times you have to go and get injection? And then, you know, I, so I go right into the corner. I tell them, listen, how much you spend last year or two years or three years? Why were you still spending money and the pain is not going away? So when, when, when they come up with stuff like that, I just throw it back in their face and I'll say, how long you been? you had this problem? Have you tried doing any? Well, I tried this. I spent thousands. I said, this, it is a product which is not for just one. You just told me you have high blood pressure. You cannot sleep. So you have sleeping pills. You have, you're taking all these different products, which is not healthy for you. These are synthetic. The pain may go, but it comes back again because you never go to the root of the cause. It's like a bandit. You just, you know, so I go in details and I, 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 I give them, show them the difference why this product is vitally important and it's not about the price. I said, never put price on your health. I says, the oxygen you breathe, the food you eat, the water you drink, everything is so toxic. I say, you will know, I don't have to tell you that, you will know 20 years ago to now, you notice that everything is processed, is mass production. I say, you have to look after you. I say, no, the fountain of life, this is the only product what will bring, it reduces all the inflammation in your joints. You just tell me you have all these aches and pain. Second of all, the food that you eat in, there is no nutrients in your food anymore. The fountain of life, the lignin is giving you back the nutrients that you need. It's a food supplement. This is something that you need on a daily basis is your food. So when I break it down and then they shut up because they can't, yeah. they have, they have nothing else to come with. So that's, any that's person, excellent. yeah, because I, and that's why we have to know, uh, that's why we have to know our products inside and out. We Absolutely. Have to know the comebacks. I have one more technical question on this uh, topic is, do you, do you have um, a square that you take visa and debit or is it strictly all cash? Very good question. I had a square way back in 2019 and then I stopped. Now everyone is e-transfer. I'll oh, be honest with you. For, since I got back, even when I went to that women's show last week, I mean, it's everyone just e-transfer. E okay. E okay. Very, very rare I get, you know, people who have, you know, credit card. Like even the guy who bought the eight, nine, ten bottle and I gave him one free. He just cash. I told him the amount. I told him the bottles right now, I say, if you go online, is $100.38 plus the GST. And if for shipping, that's about $125. I say, so I'm just charging you just only for, you know, the tax. So I give him for like $115. $115 per bottle. And he got his 10 bottles. Per bottle. Okay. Yeah, $115. Because when, I, when you buy it from the head office, you got to pay for tax. Yeah. Yeah, and then, you know, some people leave, people say, okay, ship it to me. I say, well, to ship that, that's another extra $20. Like in Toronto here, if you're shipping it to here to Mississauga, it's between $15 to $20. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, and I've been selling it for $95, uh, so I'm shortchanging myself. Well, that was before. Now we, come on, we they raised the price in March 1st. Today is mm -hmm. now, what, the 12th? Oh, yeah. No, well, and I sold it for $85. I've just oh, raised God, the no. price to 95 Well, some of the, I have some favorite customer who've been with me for like five years and a lot of the older moms uh i i, I go into a nurse not nursing home but it's a um, senior club i go once a month and present those moms i will leave it for 90 i was charged 90 at the beginning they were paying like 50 60 you know every time when the price go up but now i'm gonna leave it like they only will pay me 90 dollars they okay. give me cash yeah but so I'd be raising up my price to one fifteen. Oh yeah, yeah. For especially yeah. for all the new people and all, all you gotta do, once you explain the benefits and the value, why this is so important, people would never talk about the price. Right. I don't get too much of that at all. I don't. So the thing is, they're they're buying it as a VIP for eighty five dollars on the um site. On the site, yeah. So then you say taxes and um shipping comes up to 138 yeah like right now if you go on right now if you go into your website let's say you're sending someone a code going to my website right now the price now is a hundred dollars and 83 cents 
for one bottle of Fountain of Life? 183? No, no, no. Going $100.83. $183. Okay. So in other words, it's a hundred. Remember, what site are you on at one hundred? <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, I don't know. No, if you go into your website or go into, sure. you know, you could call in and they'll tell you. I see. You go into your site before you signed in. If you want to know any of the price for different countries, when you go into yours, like for example, mine is www.opulence.com/slash Maria Sunshine. So when I give that to people, I say, go into when you want to sign up, go and, you know, create a VIP. Sure. If they go in, well, all they see, that's the price, $100.83. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go into your site, don't join in. Like you always say, sign in. You have to sign in first, put your, your username and password. Don't do that. Yes. Just go I, in. I know that. Maria, what, yeah. I'm going to check this out right now. Yeah. But when I go into my back office and I, uh, you know, go back out, um, I, so I'm um, going under health, fountain of life. And this one bottle says, oh yeah, 185. You're right. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. You know what? hundred dollars <laughs> and 85 cents. Yes. A hundred dollars and 85 cents. Yes. 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 Okay. Well, so that's that's the price anyone you bring in into let them go into your website and they want to order themselves. Now, if they need to order wherever they're shipping it to Toronto or the United States, mm -hmm. now they have to pay for tax. You pay the tax. So the price will be just talking about that's just the regular price for one bottle. But yeah. it comes, you gotta pay your tax and also you gotta pay for shipping. Yes. So when you add the total of everything, it's about 125 Canadian dollars. Mm -hmm. Per bottle. Yeah. You know what? Per bottle. I was I was thinking about our, our last price. So this I haven't looked at the front. No. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank yeah, you for that. You're welcome. So those are yeah. the end of my questions. That's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go on to the next hand raise. Thank you for that, Shauna. Just gonna you, ask uh Josephine to unmute again. Yes, I just have one, one more question. Sure. So, as for us, like we are new beginners, you know, what is the good way to sell? Is it to buy the product and you keep it with you or to make a card or to to have that, uh, is it called what? Uh, that book that you talked about. Okay. All right. So, so first and foremost, uh, great question. Like... Uh, brings you more customers because some of us we don't know how we oh, right, so a, we've got a uh echoing echo yeah maybe okay, so mute, everybody like... mute themselves please okay so that's a great question so first and foremost i think if you want to make you know money on a daily basis, you need to get the product. Not necessarily saying that you have to buy a quantity. If you can buy a family pack, you get two family pack every month. Okay, so you have at least 24, 25 bottles in your hand. You set your goal for next week and you say, you know what, I want to sell out this 25 bottles. So you now have to go out. I suggest to you, if you do not have business card, Josephine, you just start. You want to make sure that you have all the tools prepared. You want to order some business cards. There's some absolutely gorgeous ones. They have one with all the product, fashion, beauty, health, personal care. Yeah, I have, I, I order like 200, you know, you know, not 200, 2000 brochures. When I was uh, even on the cruise, I had over about a hundred brochures, a um, hundred business card with me. And I brought it specifically to, to give it out. When I came back, I think I only had like 10 business card with me in my uh, carry on because every person I, I come into, I give it to them and I take their information because that's what I want to do. I want to go and prospect. I want to talk to many people as I can because not everybody will say yes. Prepare yourself for that. So first you need your business card. You will always look more professional. People look at you differently than just writing it like you have the brochure and you just have a pen. Don't put no write your brochure with pen. It's very unprofessional. Don't do that. Make sure you get 
you know, go to a printer, print your labels. I mean, Karen have someone, I have, you, you can, you learn from your My5 or just even with Karen, she will give you a lot of great tips with that. But I'm telling you right now, position yourself, set yourself up. So when you go there, you'll be start selling, but you have to take action. So first, get your business card, make sure you have your brochures, the latest brochures out. And when you talk to someone else, and you, you could be anywhere and you just meet, even though if you cannot speak, just someone you looked at and you decide, you know what, I'm doing this today. I'm going to talk to this lady. And you can just go first to start a conversation. You need to give a compliment. So whatever, you know, women, we dress elegantly or you smell good. Or look, compliment someone because that way you make someone feel good. They smile, you smile back. That way it's easier to start building a conversation. I master that skills. So once you do that, then you say, by the way, I know you're pretty busy, but I would like to leave this information with you. Can I do that? And the people will be, once you're nice to people, they'll say, sure. And then sometimes they'll say, okay, could you tell me exactly what's on the brochure? Absolutely. And I just hit the highlights. You know, the main you see in front of the, <laughs> the brochure is the bottle. And you talk about the ball and then you flip open the, you know, the brochure and you'll see, well, 10 drops is equivalent to 50 cups of green tea. And I'll ask the question, I say, how many green tea do you drink per day? I always make them laugh. They say green tea. Oh, no, I don't drink green tea. Some people say two. Some people say three. I say, fantastic. I say, how about 1,800 cups of apple? How many apple? So I love when I start a conversation start it with the fruits just as what i'm telling you right now if you don't you're not knowledgeable but just open the brochure just read from the brochure you'll be amazed and leave the brochure with that individual because they'll say well let me think about it i want to do my research or oh when let me check this and then make sure you say you know what i'd like to connect with you i'd like to send you like three small links and some of the testimonials can i exchange you ask politely, you will get it. I'm telling you, it's very rare people say, no, I'm not giving out my information. I've done that so many years that now every person I talk to, I get their information. So again, prepare yourself, uh, Josephine, get your business card, get the brochures, and just go out and meet people. You may be shy for the first time, to, but if you continue doing it every day, even if you talk to one person today, Tomorrow you talk to five person. And if you do that every day, you spend one, give an hour, give yourself an hour. You say, okay, this hour is to work my business. And I'm, I'm going there and I want to talk to at least 10 people. You see, you have to mentally prepare yourself to do that. Because if you're living in fear, you will never. The fear will always slow you down. And when you meet someone to talk to you, you, you freeze up. You're like, oh my God. What help a lot too is in your back office. You can go in your same back office, learn a lot from the back office, click on all the icons. Even so you're not getting the help and support from your My5, but you, this is your business. Take responsibility and spend the time and effort through the back office. If you have any question, concern, you could always connect with Karen or, you know, Ephra, you're applying. You got to connect with these, these people. But that's how simple it is. You start. Because one thing I've learned in life, you never, never give up. You just start. So you, this is your prime time to learn, to grow, to evolve. Because without commitment, you will never start. And more importantly, without consistency, you will never finish. So the most important thing for you is you got to start. Just get out there. Don't let nothing slow you down. You set a goal and say, you know what? My goal now is one hour I'm going to talk to people. And if you tell yourself that, trust me, at the end of the day, you'll be so happy. You'll be laughing and smiling because you've accomplished something you've you know, you never done before. That's how simple it is. Thank you. Back to you, Karen. Very good points. Very good points, Maria. Thank this you. is Thank great. You I do appreciate. I feel like even I wasted time since last year. <laughs> oh, wonderful. We all Excellent. feel that way. Don't worry, Josephine. Trust me. No matter how long you've been in this business, you're kicking yourself a lot because it's it's really, you know, like Maria says, it's having that intention and setting aside that time and being prepared and having that mindset of every time you're out, you're not just out. 
you're out with an intention. And I know, Maria, I'll just ask you a question. I know you've told me in the past that you usually set up your month where you're doing at least two trade shows a month. Now, and if you're not doing them and being there as a representative, like you said earlier in the call, you go to events where people oh, are going to be. And absolutely. you do this intention at these events, which can be very fruitful, I'm sure, as well. Yeah. Well, you know, it's amazing. That's what I'm telling you. You never know. If you stay home, you don't make money staying home. You know, you stay there to just make you, you know, follow up. But the most important thing is going out there and meet people face to face. The same gentleman I told you about, 10 bottle. I met this gentleman last week, a week, just the same week I came back. And a friend called me and she says, Maria, there is a travel, uh, travel show down at the airport. I said, really? Because I have a couple of people that I connect with. And then if they see anything, they'll touch base. And that was the Friday. And she said, well, it started the Sunday. I said, okay, I'll go. And while I was there, I had bottles with me. I had my brochure. My intention is, uh-huh. That two hours I'm going and spend there, I'm just going and prospect. It's a big show. Well, it was, you know, all these shows. And I say, I'm just going. So I was going around and talking and, you know, meeting people, complimenting them and give out my card. And then while I stop at a corner, there was, these people were selling this to me at official, something for your waist. And then they take this hot top thing and put it on your waist and they say, all your arthritis pain will just disappear. So I know in my heart, this is ridiculous. This is not even right. And they had these three Indian gentlemen was sitting close to the corner, just maybe relaxing, having a cup of tea. So then I just go across that same area. And one of the sales rep was talking to the three gentlemen and saying, listen, you need this because you have this pain and that pain. And, and they were saying, nah, no, no, no. I want something more natural in it. So I heard the conversation. And as soon as the sales rep left the three gentlemen, I went in and I said, guys, my, I introduced myself. I said, wow, um, what do you guys do? And they told me, yeah, we come and I say, listen, I have something I'd like to share with you even better than what this guy is talking about. And I pull out my brochure. I say, have you heard about lignans? They were curious. They said, no, tell me more. And by just that one brochure, Karen, I just pull it out and I break it down. I say, and then the big question I ask, who do you know that is suffering with arthritis, diabetes, high blood pressure, bowel movement? Prostate. When I when I mentioned the word prostate, that was it. One of the same gentlemen, he was just he tell me he arranged for surgery. Wow. I say I have a product. I have a product that we I've been helping thousands of people from since we launched. He said, really? He said, where is this product? About? And I said, do you have a minute? He said, sure. So I sat with those gentlemen. And all I did, I shared the benefits and the value. I say, I have three bottles left with me here. Is anyone want to get the three bottle right now? Because if you order it online, it will cost you more. So then he says, you know what? I think we want to buy like maybe nine or 10 because my buddy, because I recommend, I say, get your three bottle. So this one gentleman, Brian say, he said, okay, I'll get my three. The other one was Carl. And then the other one was Selwyn. So then decide, you know what? We're going to put everything combined together. And that was last week. And then the guy called me one week later, which was Saturday. And he called me up and he said, Ms. Batiste, I checked your website. I went through everything, what you do. We're ready. He said, my wife's suffering with this, my daughters. And they all start talking about all the other people. And there it is. And he called me up and I meet up with him. And I said, well, you can get the whole family pack. But he says, no, I'm going to stick with the, the 10. And I give him one free. That will go yeah. a long way for you, Maria. That will go it's, a long way. Yeah. That was That's a, that that was a that very was nice gesture. Yes. And I follow up with him and now he's interested in one Carl. He's interested. He want to he say, Miss Batiste, I want to do what you do. So you got to tell me. So I say you need some time. Wednesday, if it's available for you, you can come up to the head office. We have a showroom and I go right into it. He say, well, no, I work pretty late. He say, is it possible we could meet? So I arrange with him to meet up on Thursday. He and his two buddies for Thursday for the appointment. And I'll go through that one presentation with him. Yeah, I have a question for you, which I know everybody's at wanting to ask. When you do a personal presentation for people, you do you take a binder? Do you take your computer? 
Do <laughs> you use the tour? Do you, what what is uh, your uh, presentation? Absolutely, that's a very good question. Oh man, Kat, Karen, I am I am already prepared. I have my laptop. I always have with me in the bag. I have a flip chart with all the different testimonials that I made copy from Facebook, which I, these are vital to have because that's what actually got those guys' attention while I was there talking. I pull out my flip book and I showed this is it. This lady suffering with arthritis, this one with prostate, the women going through. So I have a, my whole is about 20 page of different testimonial. That one work all the time. So whatever Can you problem, share that with us electronically on United We Stand? Um, What's up? No, no, no. no. Okay. Okay. I, That's okay. All, all, yeah. That's I okay. can, because you can go into Facebook. Yeah. Uh, that's why. Yeah. yeah. And okay. print out. Right. Just print out. We have out some good ones. So, okay. So sorry to interrupt. Continue. So, so that's what I do. So when I leave, I make sure I have everything. So I'm doing a presentation like I'm, through, I, I'm with my laptop. And actually what I do, um, I show them, um, they have the new one. Hold on a sec. The new one, no. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> We're coming up to the top of the hour. So if anyone has any questions, uh, maybe just type them in the chat uh, while Maria's uh, locating whatever she's locating. And uh, we'll make sure we cover them uh, before we close off the call. I want to keep this concise. So um, uh, we will... Um, just maybe type them in the chat. What the questions are. Or you can ask them when she gets back. Okay, go ahead. Thanks for your patient, Karen. Yes. No worries. So this is, yeah, I make sure I have a copy of all the different testimonials. And to me, that's what really sells it because no, people can't say excuse. Oh, this is too expensive. I don't know. I don't get those things because I prepared myself and I give them all, any excuse they have, it overcome everything. So then at the end of it, I become good friends. They'll give me five referrals, six referrals, seven referrals because I ask. And so that's how I go about every day. Like this weekend is a big one. Like tomorrow, tomorrow is a, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, I book, I have four appointments. Then Friday, I have my Zoom call. I have a couple of guests on. Saturday, I have a big one again. And Sunday, so this entire four days, I'm busy. Then on Tuesday and Wednesday, I have two big networking events. I plan, I set my goal after the cruise. I want to have four events per month because I'm working towards for Dubai. Okay. More so we have nothing. Yeah. We have a question uh, that came in, and it is, uh, what is your budget monthly for trade shows that you attend? Very good question. Now, the two small ones that I'm attending is basically about like 200, 200 for like five hours. Okay. So $200 for five hours. Per trade show. Oh, God, yeah. So now, if, if I'm going to four trade shows a month. That's basically um, 200, you said four. Okay, so that's about $800, 800 yeah. for the month. But I sell, yeah. like, like, for example, just selling the 10 models, $1,000. I mean, you make, I make my money back because when, yeah. I, when I go to any shows, the minimum, very rare, the minimum, maybe five to six bottles. My max is in the 20s. Okay. So, yeah. So, it's, so you're it's always... Incredible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because if I know I'm investing the two hundred dollars, I gotta make. I know. Okay, that's two bottles, but I want to make at least any event. My goal is to sell at least minimum ten bottles. Yeah. Like like I was there last Sunday, I sold fifteen bottles. I'm the only one what sell. Uh, the other girl who was with me, you know, it's I, I showed him. They said, "Geez, Marie, you are so good." 
I, she, they were just watching me and, you know, how I do things. And I say, guys, if you continue to do that on a consistent basis, you'll see the significant difference. But yeah, I, again, I've seen you in action and I know what the difference is because I've seen, I've been at many shows and I've seen people and I, I, I believe number one, you're not restricted to the people that just come to you at the show. You're talking to basically anyone that's in proximity. And I think a lot of your opening up, this is my observation quickly, the compliment, it's sincere. Um, you start the like and trust uh, right away. You ask permission to share something with them. And usually when people are asked permission, they will say yes. And then, of course, you use the brochure, what I've seen anyway, as the visual. And you talk about the fruits. You go right into that. You ask them how much they could consume. So all of those little tips start the ball rolling. And then, of course, you ask them the questions of what things they're experiencing or who they know that are experiencing those things and that makes them open up further. So now you've just had this flower open up to you and now you come in with conviction, with confidence and yes. with passion about your product and you tell them what they should be doing because now you they're already open to you, they already trust you and now you're telling them it's like a, a person who's a consultant and people go for their professional advice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they take it and they do what you suggest. And you do, you suggest the three to six to nine, whatever it is, exactly. bottles, and they will do it because you've done the work previously on opening them up. Thank this you. This is what I've witnessed. So I'm going to go to Shauna's question and yes, uh, exactly. I'm going to let Beautiful. her ask it. And then we'll probably wrap the call. And I want to take any more of your time unless somebody raise your hands. If you have a few questions for Maria before we close off, Shauna, go ahead. Thanks for that answer, Maria. That was uh, kind of a, a different twist on what I was asking. Uh, what I was asking is when you book uh, shows that you're going to attend, how many do you, uh, what is your monthly budget for booking a table at a show? And my second question is, how much product do you uh, buy for a show? You're selling at a show. Okay, minimum is two family packs. I always walk with two family packs. And the average, like right now, the average for those shows, these are smaller shows, is about $200 for five hours. Like I'm going to this one where it start from 12 and it finished like 5.30. So it's like, you know. You yeah. know, and I don't, I don't know if I've asked my question correctly. I am asking uh, when you book a table at uh -huh. uh, at a at an event. So uh -huh. you are you are one of the vendors. Yeah. So how many um, how many how many shows do you attend per month or per year uh, as a vendor? And then what are the supplies that you buy for your table? So you've got you know, 20,000 people coming through. How do you, how do you judge that? Okay. So for example, I mean, we go from month to month, like again, as I just came back and I set my goal between now and December, um, I already this, this, this March, this much, I have four booked. I already done the first, which was March the 1st, which was Friday and Saturday, which was last weekend. I have another event coming up this weekend and the following weekend. So each vendor, like book for the vendor, it will cost me $200. If I want to bring a partner, then I can share, we share 50, so I'll pay probably about 100 and the person do 100. So right now, that's what I'm telling you, for example, for oh. March month. So, and you know, the shows that um, that we're attending, they're six and seven hundred dollars a booth, a thousand dollars a booth. That's the bigger. That's the bigger show. Like right now, I'm booking small shows. Okay. The, okay. Yeah, I understand. No, I, and uh, oh, so yeah. I, I had a, a, the wrong visual. Yeah. So, no. Uh, no. What type yeah. of shows are you looking for, Maria? What are What do you find are your most successful shows? Like your smaller shows. Where, okay. What are they? What are, What All kinds right. of shows are? Because, they? 
perfect. So because remember, we are into the fashion, we are into beauty, we are into health, we are into personal care. I work a lot in churches, like last week was one of that. And they had a, a gala, sort of a gala, and it was a banquet. I was invited, and they had about 150 people there. I had a booth, was $100, $150 for about five hours. And I went in there. And the the pastor allowed me to present for about five to 10 minutes in front of the congregation. What is your product? So they give me five, 10 minutes to speak the benefits and value. Then after when I hit all the key points where it came from, then he says, okay, before you ladies and them finish your dinner, make sure you go and get your two or three bottles done at Maria Batiste at the door. When they finished it, all this spill, and people are leaving now. I was I was so impressed because it's it's like you go to small shows where you're thinking, ah, you'll be surprised. And to me, I love the smaller shows because to me it's very effective. I get the chance to speak to people individually, like you spend a little time with them rather than if like when I'm doing the women's show or the big health and wellness show, these are you having thousands of people coming in. You don't really get the time to really because it's it's numbers. But when you have smaller shows, like I'm going to the church, like this weekend coming up, these are small shows, which is cost like 150 bucks. Yeah. Then I sell at least minimum 10, 12 bottles. I make sure I go with two family packs because I want to get rid of that. And when I sell, if I sell, then I take that money and invest and buy more product. So I'm always buying products. So the minimum I carry is two family packs two family pack and I do at least four event per month. That's Thank my goal you, right now. Thank mm -hmm. you for that. Uh, you have, you have just given me a whole paradigm shift. in trade Yeah. Trade. And in case if you have like the big show, like we already book up for the women's show. We have in that big woman show coming up in November. That's a long, long way there. That where is, I mean, is about four grand. So it's about nine of us is doing that. And we had to pay down and, you know, we pay in advance. That's that's the big deal. But other shows such as I go to the health and wellness show, then this show coming up next week is a diabetes show. So I look for shows that what I do, I'm looking for mainly a stick in that category, the health and wellness. Or even if I go in, the lady call me and she, she invites me to, to have a few people over to their home. To me, it doesn't matter. Once there are any event, we have a product that everyone needs. So to me, it doesn't matter what show it is. Could be the car show, the travel show. This is health. Your health is your wealth. So I start with the small one and then I go with the big one. Right now, as I told you, this March, I already have four booked. I've done one already. I have three more coming up and I'm super, super excited. And these are the smaller one coming up in June. I have some big one, which I think will be about 600. If it's 600, I get two of my other partners, you know, I let them come together so they can see what I can do. That's part of my team. And we spend, you know, we, we collaborate and you pay 200 each, you know, that's how we do it. It doesn't make sense. You going by yourself. You want to make sure you have, you know, your partner, that you know at least one person with you so you can always you know yeah take advantage absolutely. on the, the cost absolutely we have another there. hand raised thank you for that maria we're going to go to cheryl lynn is going to ask another question cheryl lynn you're uh you should be unmuted uh yes um thank you very much for all the information so far you you're are welcome. brilliant you are a rock star and um, you really show us how to get out of ourselves and how to get out of our shell. That's one of the biggest things uh, that we have a problem with as uh, mothers, wives, um, taking care of a home family, um, is to get out of ourselves, be able to force ourselves to get out there and do these uh, these things that you have given us, the platform that you have given us, which is just brilliant. Uh, it's you. things that we have thought of but are not able, because we haven't heard it out loud like you presented, 
we are not able to get up there and do it like uh, the uh, I think it's uh, Stephanie saying like it's been about a year now and when how do I get up and go out and do this and I know one time I heard you speak for with uh, Karen and I um, yes. about a year and a half ago and again my notes from there which I still have um, I think of you many times when I'm ready to get out and do something or afraid to Thank not you. do something. Yes. And because how do you sell all these bottles, madam? <laughs> <laughs> you just told us. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> and it's always a question that goes around and around in my head. And I think many of our heads, um, you had said at that time, Patience, perseverance, and um, persistence. Absolutely. In that speech. Could you give us just a little more insight on those three words, patience, perseverance, and persistence? Absolutely. You know, one of the things is you will probably get up, you're all in a good mood, ready to go, and then something happened, you know, in the family or so, and then you're like, oh my God, you know. I don't know if I can do this. You know, you have fear start, you know, attack. This, it happens. It happens. So you go out and you plan that, okay, I want to talk to 10 people, but eventually you end up talking with two people because you you got scared and then you say, oh no, I waste my whole day. And you go down. But that's where patients come in because not every day is a bell of roses. You may have your good intention to do, you know, what you need to do, but you have to be patient because you may talk to five people. Some of them could be your friends you've known for a long time. And then they turn and say, nah, you know, nah, I don't want to. I, I, no, no, I'm not interested in anything right now. Uh, maybe later and maybe six months and all. And if you're not strong, if you take that personally, you fall apart. Forget that nonsense. Your day is finished. That's why once you set your goal, write it down. You write your goal down and you say, okay, this is what I'm doing. Come what may, you will do whatever it takes. You go now and I want to talk to 25 people. You have to commit and that's where you have to be patient. Okay, one person say, no, that's okay. You keep on going. You keep on going. The thing about me, I never stop. I never let nothing distract me because I'm laser focused. And I think that's what I notice a lot of people, they're not laser focused. We get you know, distracted with simple things, something happened in a house. Today you may have a, a rough day, but the next day you wanna make up for the next day. So you always have to stay that positive mental attitude, be that mental warrior, do whatever it takes. And I'm telling you, I'm speaking from my experience, Anytime I talk to myself and I say, okay, this is what I want to do with conviction, I always at the end of the day accomplish or even more. Because sometimes you have to push yourself. Remember, today could be a slow day. You go out and you say, oh boy, I didn't even sell one today. Or you you have a trade show, you invest and you're waiting for people to come. And then oh, at the, the whole day pass, you didn't get to talk to much people. And so you didn't, you know, you did zero. Don't, you know, oh my God. And don't and depressed and telling everyone, no, just say, okay, all right, I have another show tomorrow. I got to make up for the next day. You maintain that positive attitude and be patient. That's where the patient come in. Because if you try to hurry up and want to expect to sell 10 bottles today, 10 tomorrow, it doesn't work that way. And, and so that's where I develop the patient and persistency. If I stop, I will never achieve. If I, you know, today, okay, this week I may have a slower week. And then I say, uh-huh, well, I'm making it up for next week. And next week I go full blast and I even make double. All that is a strong state of mind, the patient to hang in there. Because it won't just happen like that. Especially a lot, for a lot of new people or even the oldies, you know, you guys been around. But if you don't do it on a consistent basis, in other words, you don't have no enthusiasm to go. Once you start doing it regularly every day or even once a week or twice a week, just go out, go out and keep on. Then eventually it become a habit. And once you start, you talk to the first person, you sell two bottles. The second person, you sell another three bottles. If you continue doing that, there is no way nobody can slow you down. You will be so happy at the end of the day because 
you produce, you were affected. You didn't let your day just fly away. So patient is you got to hang in there. If this month you didn't do it, next month you will do it. But don't give up. Don't slow down. Don't say, well, I'm all going to, don't go a pity party. No, I don't do those things. I just get to work. If I go there and I talk to 20 people and, well, maybe I only sell three bottles, I say, well, my goal was today was to sell five. I sell three. The next day or the next week, I want to make sure at least at the end of the week, I want to have at least 10 or 15 bottles. So that is your call, that that consistency about me. Not everyone is like that. You know, you have a good day. Some people, if they have a good day today, they sort of celebrate. And then the next day, they go to sleep. They just say, you know what? I just sell 10, you know, 10 bottles. Uh, and let me take the week off. And they forget. <laughs> no, you continue because that's where all, you know, the momentum are and you want to go. Like this week, I'm super excited. Oops, you're muted, Maria. There we go. I'm okay, yeah. Somebody was calling. So that's it. Just never give up. Set your goal every day, every day, no matter what. Say, listen, this is a new year. I got to do something. I got to make it happen. If you don't tell yourself, and then when you hang around people who always, ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you, it, then it depresses you. You have to have a willpower and say, this is what I want to do. I'm doing it now. Come what me. And if you make that strong conviction, there's nothing to slow you down. The only thing what will slow you down is you. Yeah. That's what I'd like to share with each and every one. Yeah. Step up Thank and make you. it happen. Thank I you, Thank you very, very much. Well put together. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I actually, I, I love um, our, our CEO's um, saying, I don't want to just burn through a day. I don't want a, a day to just go by without getting closer to what I wanted to do or getting closer to my end goal or getting closer to, you know, the feeling of accomplishment that I want to feel. Mm -hmm. So, so I think that's basically uh, what you're saying. And even if you don't have those results that particular day, you'll pick it up the next day or the next week. And, uh, and so if, as long as you don't lose that somewhat of a momentum. So momentum. these are just brilliant points, Maria. I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking the time to be here with the team. Everybody I know is totally, totally having paradigm shifts and having, um, you know, aha moments. And uh, sometimes it takes somebody coming, uh, you know, I know certainly myself being able to have the time to spend with you. And I know we've talked about developing yeah. the Miami market, which I'm super excited about. I know we'll do it. Absolutely. And um, it's just an honor to hang out with you and to watch you in action. And it inspires me and I knew it would inspire the team. So thank you, thank you for the, your time today. I'm going to close the call off. And of course, thank you for also sharing your links with us and I will get them out to the United We Stand group. And yes. uh, everyone, thank you for all being on the call. And Maria, you're a rock star. That's all I can say. <laughs> I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And let's rock and let's take this to this next level by taking action. And I love you guys because you guys collaborate together. Just stick together and do it. The moment, don't no, regardless if you, you set a goal and something come up, just say, you know what, all right. Let me stay focused. Don't get distracted because that's what I notice. A lot of the ladies will say, oh, my son and this and that. And I couldn't, I was not able to do this. No, when you set your goal, stick to that goal. Even though you had a slow day, say tomorrow is the other day. Tomorrow is a new day. I'm going to double it. We have to push ourselves. If we don't push ourselves, we like the average people. You don't want to be average. I'll always tell them I fly. I fly like the eagles. I don't scratch with chickens and turkeys. Chickens and turkeys always pucking down, pucking down. I want to go soar in the air. So you got to be exceptional. So that's what I'm saying, you guys. You know, be exceptional. And we close with the one team. <laughs> one dream. One dream. And to the billion. To the billion, everybody. Oh, All right, thank you, Maria. Appreciate, appreciate it all. Thank you so much. You're welcome.